Women, stricture, suppressed, silent, confined within the bounds of a patriarchal society. What do they do when they want to break free? Jump in well, says Mina Alexander. Shashi Deshpande says they suffer in silence. We say they wear masks, masks of sufferance, silence, permissiveness, masks of the various roles they play in the world. Mother, daughter, sister, friend, never letting out their inner self, never following their heart as they sacrifice their lives for the others in their lives. Team Zanadu's message for our masquerade period is Women, unveil your inner being. It is time, women, time to get rid of all the masks we don't for others. It is time to live for ourselves as well. Our first woman is a real lady. Elizabeth Bennett, beautiful, radiant in her gown, ready for a ball. Cinderella's ball, mayhaps, but something mars her beauty. What is it? The mask of prejudice. It cracks her in two. She is so blinded by her prejudice, she doesn't see her happiness in front of her at first. Reveal your inner beauty, Lizzie. The true Elizabeth now stands before you, strong, forthright. As Elizabeth uncovers her true radiant self, I implore you as well that it is time for us to cast aside our petty thoughts, jealousies and prejudices to emerge stronger. How is this that approaches? Nalini, desperate for love and passion. Her true form hides behind this homely mask she dons. Strip it away, Nalini, strip it away. Emerge from your cocoon. Look at what emerges. Rosie, who seeks out happiness, love, follows her passion. Rosie, the dancer, the swell, the graceful Rosie. We all have a Rosie hidden within us. Sacrificed at the altar of failed relationships and the need to conform to society's norms. Follow your arrow, women. Sing if you wish to sing. Dance if you wish to dance. Leap, prance, put on a cloud display of your inner butterfly. If Rosie was restricted in her marriage, then Sanachari from Badali is bound by her emotions. She takes up the profession of a mono, but gets, in co gets caught in artifices as she is not in touch with her feelings. She masks her heart, having gone through tragic losses in her life. She needs to connect with her inner woman. You need to cry. It is time to change. It is time for the subaltern to speak. Because all women live with fault lines, crisscrossing within them. Here is Nina Alexander from Fault Lines, who exemplifies this notion. She says she wears her fault line like a second skin. Her patchwork dress indicates broken geography she lives with, multiplicity of personalities, something that allows all women to endure within themselves always. It is time, women, chip away. Chip away at these fault lines. Break away those multiple masks you wear. Show your true colors. For when pretty prejudices are cast aside, society's oppressive cloak is stripped away. Woo! When you break apart the fault lines that we live with, what emerges is what resides within you. The magnificent, the gorgeous, awe-inducing, jaw-dropping woman that is within us all. Give it up for phenomenal women!
well made. I request all the women in the audience to please give a huge round of applause to.